All right, everybody. Uh, we're back for where I'm most comfortable talking about what I like to talk about. Uh, in the operating room, it's the easiest place to show it. This is the new TPAL template, which is one of the main uh, new features. I'd like to thank the, uh, the inner body group for coming up with a perfect execution of all the surgical design principles that we all wanted to execute. Um, bottom line, on the template, you can see two steep, sharp, beveled keels. One that's going to be on the anterior surface, one that's going to be on the posterior surface. Ultimately, the uh, TPAL peak inner body graft is going to follow those keels. This thing works so much easier than the first generation, and I think they uh, pulled it off. So, um, really like it. I want to show you how we do it. Basically, I've already done all the disc work. I've taken out the disc. I've decorticated the end plate. All the same tools from the old TPAL system are used to do the decortication and the discectomy. We've done it microsurgically. You can see the wound that I use right here. At this stage of the game, I've already created my bony orifice, and it's a direct window um, inferior to the foraminal segment of that nerve root and above that pedicle that takes me right into the inner body space. Basically, I'm going to insert this, uh, and then the fluoroscopic confirmation of my approach will shift the floor of you now. We will deliver this safe zone down past the danger zone to the distance. We are now at the safe zone again at the posterior vertebral line. This is the first pass. You can feel it sitting in the keel. Now we'll unlock the hinge. And now we'll rotate it in the position. All right, that's it. Now, um, go ahead and look at here. All right, well, we removed the crane from the room that it took to get the template out of the uh, inner body space. Just kidding. Um, bottom line, this is the TP implant. It's got the two rails uh, on the posterior and anterior surface. It's filled with um, autograph for inner body uh, placement. We're doing this at the L2-3 level of a case that I've just begun. We've already created the groove. We're going to come in vertically. Horoscopically, we're going to direct it down the tunnel that I created. This because of the keel, it finds a little hole. It's got a bullet at the tip, and it finds it. I keep going, keep going. All the way to the front, loosen it again, and turn the corner. There you have it. Then I undo the hinge back to me, pop the hinge, rotate this out. Disconnect the handle. And voila, and that's the final placement of that inner body breath. That's all there is 